Hello walkers and welcome to Natural Bridges, Montana. It's a really interesting uh, geological feature here. Uh, we are on the still, no, sorry, <clears throat> the Boulder River and uh, it flows down to Big Timber. So this is a fun place to come in the spring. That water flows over the top as well as the bottom when there's in the middle of runoff. My name is Henry. I'll be your proxy walker today, your virtual travel guide on this virtual treadmill travel video. It is early March, about 2.30 p.m. And about, I'd say about 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Not sure what that equates to in Celsius, but I'll put it on the screen. If I haven't already, it's gonna be a dicey walk up that hill because there's some really slippery snow here, as you can tell. And I'm not gonna talk a whole lot <clears throat> because I'm gonna be huffing and puffing. You can see where the rock has been eroded and falling, collapsed over there. In fact, in part of here, the water goes underground, disappears and goes underground for a little ways before reappearing as part of the river. Uh, you can see some overlooks up there. We'll, that's kind of where we're going to end up there. I'm going to try and film walking up this path, but as you can see, uh, it's probably closer to 50 degrees. This snow is really slushy, and when we get up on the path, it gets really slippery. So I will attempt to not fall and die. Just joking, not only is that perilous, um, it is really slippery though. I'm using my hands a lot here. All right. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Please like, and then mainly leave a comment and tell your friends. I love hearing from you guys. I uh, love hearing your stories. I love hearing your uh, trials and tribulations and that sort of thing. I love this moss. Let's take a look at this moss and the ice. Isn't that pretty? Whew. I am recovering. I mean, I'm out. I'm done with COVID, but it's been a lot of fatigue. So, just hopefully I'm not panning too quickly for you guys. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm looking for dry spots and rocks to plant my feet. And then maybe sometimes in the deeper snow, I can get a little more traction. do some switchbacks up here. It was a little sketchy coming down too. I always say I'm not going to talk and then I do. You see I'm looking for a place to put my foot. See, it's kind of a ways down here. Wouldn't want to tumble down.
I'm also, when I'm in that snow, really trying to dig in my edge of my feet, edge of my boot. It's a place people like to come and rock climb on that right hand wall. Ooh, it's muddy too. Sure is pretty though. It's deceptively large. The waterfall is probably 30 or 40 feet tall right there. From the top of the water, you can see flowing down to the pool. Those sudden lurches are when I'm slipping. Gosh, it's easier coming up than going down though. So far. That's the worst of it. You can see where people have tried to take a shortcut in here in various places and uh, caused a lot of erosion. So they're trying to revegetate the area. And so they piled sticks in there. They put up some fences at the top. Uh, so. Reminder to stay on the trail. In most cases, right? There are reasons to go off trail sometimes. Isn't that pretty? See some people walking on the other edge over there. Here we go. I've been getting comments uh, pro and con about panning and showing stuff, but it's mostly been pro, meaning they, people want me to show things. So I'm trying to add that in a little bit. Hoping the microphone's working right. Can't get the headphones to work for me. <clears throat> Trail continues on that way, but we're gonna head to the right. Oh, there we go. I missed posting a video on Monday. I apologize about that. I hate to miss a day, but 
sometimes life happens. Appreciate your understanding. Right. See how soupy and muddy it is. Snow's melting quickly down here. But that's just today. It's supposed to maybe get some more snow later in the week. So I think the stone around here is really limestoney. We'll take a look up here. I think you can see the sort of, uh, over here, the scalloped look. I'm not a geologist, but if you are, please comment. But I'm pretty sure this is limestone and it dissolves over time. Look at that, it's really sharp too. Show you a sign off to the left here. So, got Green Mountain Trail number 94. This is a really nice brand new sign. Usually they're not in this good condition. Um, East Rim Trail, etc. They've done some work here recently. It is a formidable trail system in our national forest and it takes a lot of man hours or human hours work hours, I guess, um, and money to keep everything nicely signed and uh, navigable. So thanks to the forest department. <laughs> They're probably not used to getting a lot of thanks. see down the riverbed down there again where we were Go up here a little bit way down there and you can see the canyon stretches down and in that canyon the water disappears for a while <clears throat> I was stepping on rocks, so I'm not tearing anything up. This slushy stuff is almost as slippery as ice.
coming up on a bridge here. Nice views from that. Sunshine poking through. <coughs> Pardon me. Somebody's having their picture taken. Hi there. Try not to get in these people's photos. Sorry about the swerving. I love this view here. Beautiful, beautiful, clear water mountains that had a fire you know, 15 20 years ago maybe more recent we're going to go to the other side of the bridge now it's a downstream side and you can see kind of where the water disappears into the rocks down below and then you can see dead logs that have uh, lodge themselves during runoff when it goes over the top. Look how shallow it is down there. So we're going to come up to the parking lot, but we're going to continue on down to those lookouts that we were looking up at before. There's a uh, small parking lot here, a pit toilet. There's even a fire ring for non-fire season campfires. There's no camping here. There are campgrounds further up the road and uh, national forest land, of course. But I believe there might be some picnic. Yeah, there's a picnic table and a fire ring. <clears throat> So off to the left here is that picnic table and then well there used to be a fire ring over there. It's like maybe they took it out. Sneak up here real quick. There's our bridge. Continue on. Here's Traveling Mill over there kids. We're going to make a right turn here. <clears throat> Another lookout. Look at that. Isn't that just a classic view? I love it. And look how the ice is frozen uh, in little tunnels, little bridges, I guess. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to tell. It's 
really plummeting down there in that narrow gap. You can see these long uh, logs. It's probably a 30, 40 foot log down there. <coughs> down to the next overlook. A lot of interpretive signs as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, reach out over the railing here, so don't get scared. See, we'll see, get a better view of up here, but kind of see the lip of the top channel. Let's go down here. This will give us a good view of where we started. Alrighty, don't be scared. Okay, so straight down and to the right is where the water's coming out of the wall. There's that upper channel way across the way there. You can see the switchbacks that we came up. Kind of boop, boop. All right, and then you can see the frozen pool down there. We're going to continue on just a little bit further. See the water coming in down there? Just a really pretty and really interesting geologic formation here. And just a really pretty place, right? <clears throat> and it's surprising, it's kind of out here. It's 20 minutes from uh, Big Timber. But we were saying on the way up, even when in, we're, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's a Wednesday, and uh, there's the dry channel. And in March, and there's still people up here enjoying this public land, this, uh, these trails and that sort of thing. And we don't think we've ever been here when there hasn't been other people, which is really kind of cool. People using our public lands. So I'm gonna leave that with that. But I am also gonna uh, say thank you for joining us. This is the end. Uh, come back again soon. Not sure where it's gonna be. Um, but we will definitely be doing more videos, so check us out, tell your friends, leave a comment, please, I love getting your comments. 
uh, and stay safe. We will see you again soon. Until then, keep on stepping. <laughs>